Do you want to build a natural garden archway that will serve as a trellis for your climbing plants, but you don't know where to start? You came to the right place, because in this video I will show you how you can build your own natural trellis and how simple it can be. I will tell you what wood type you can use, will show you how to make strong foundation for the archway, and at the end you will see how simple and effective is to decorate your natural arch trellis that you can use for your climbing vegetables. But that's not all, because in today's video we have a special guest, Scott, from the YouTube channel Scott Hat. If you remember, he was on my list of the top gardening YouTubers and I promise he won't disappoint today. He will give you a different approach on making a DIY trellis and give you some tips in the process. So without further ado, let's start building a beautiful garden arch that will serve you as a cucumber trellis. Before starting building your trellis, sort your branches into categories. The long ones, all the branches that are from 6 up to 10 feet long, and the short ones, all the branches that are from 3 to 6 feet long. All the rest can go into your burn pile. Now that you have your branches selected and sorted, it's time to start building and the first step here is to select and place all the four corner branches. Those branches will act like a foundation for your build. They will give the strength and the structure to your arch trellis. To secure them in place, first make a hole and stake them down. I use this metal pole that is made just for this job, but if you don't have a tool like this, you can always use a sacrificial branch. And once in the ground, try to rotate them in that way that the branch shape will work with the overall shape of your arch trellis. And remember that you can always bend your branches a little bit, if they don't cooperate. After placing them in the desired location, I nail them in place. This secure them even further. Here you can use nails, as I did, or screws. But remember that if you use screws, make a pilot hole before drilling your screws in. Otherwise, your wood can split. I prefer to use nails, because this will add more structural integrity. The nails will bend under pressure, but the screws will snap. Now that you have all the corner posts in place and secured, you can bend them slightly to adjust them to the final form. Before you start building your garden arch, you need to know what wood to choose for the build. The branches need to be somewhat straight and bendable. Hazelnut and willow tree branches have all those characteristics and that's why I recommend to build with them. The best time to select and cut the branches is from September until March, but cut it not more than 3 days before you will use them. Arch them from corner to corner. Where the branches meet, twine them together so they interlock one with another. Do this also for the opposite corner and tie both arches together in the middle. So how flexible the wood needs to be. A good rule of thumb is that if you can bend it with some gentle force with your hands, you can use them. And if one part of the branch is stiff, you can use it as a corner piece or cut off the stiff part. The length of the branches depends on what you want to build. With this build, where we are building a natural arch trellis, we need to have at least 6 branches that are 10 feet long. That's because we need to arch them and come in contact with the other side. Now you can step back and look at the foundation to your arch trellis and do some changes in the arch form if you want. Otherwise you can continue with the build. To strengthen the build, I place another set of branches in the middle and secure them in place by pressure locking them with some smaller, thicker branches that wouldn't bend. This adds strength to my build and another place where the cucumber will have a chance to grab when they climb. Do you like this kind of content? Smash that like button to let me know and consider subscribing if you are interested to see how beautiful this entryway to my garden will be after the cucumbers will climb and take over this archway trellis. At this stage, the trellis would work just fine, but I wanted to decorate it a little bit more. 
I decorated my trellis by twisting some branches diagonally and twining them up to the top of the arch so they will add some strength to it. After some time the branches will dry and be more rigid, adding another layer of strength. To tidy up the trellis, cut the branches that are poking out and tie the branches that you think needs additional support. Now enjoy the short build time lapse and after it I will give you one last tip that will increase your knowledge when building your cucumber trellises. The last tip I can give you is to go to Scott's channel to see how he'll build his trellises and hear what tips he can give you to improve your gardening skills. Link will be in the video description or click the icon that pop on the screen. I hope you learned something new today and joined in the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to see how beautiful this entryway to my garden will be after the cucumbers will climb and take over this archway trellis. Happy gardening!